Marijuana sales have now topped nearly $11 million across the state in just the first five days. Yeah, over 271,000 transactions have taken place. The cannabis crunch leading to many dispensaries now selling out of their stash. CBS News Vince Irasoli live at one of those stores on the near west side. Vince. It's all about distressed supply and demand. There were no recreational sales at this dispensary here on the near west side, though they did have medical marijuana today. And it was a scene that was repeated throughout the state. If you talk to those in the industry and those who regulate it, they'll tell you they warned you. Compare these two scenes. Throngs of people waiting in line for hours on January 1, the first day for legal recreational pot sales in Illinois. And now this, less than a week later, dispensaries turning people away and signs posted throughout the state at their doorways or online that there's not enough recreational marijuana to go around and sales are limited. Is this a surprise? No, it, it's not a surprise. Keep in mind, Jeremy Unruh speaks for Pharmacan, which grows and sells Illinois marijuana and was serving customers in those long lines. Was there greater demand than you anticipated? We knew that demand would probably exceed our capacity to comfortably serve that demand. The state and the industry began sounding the alarm bells last summer. Illinois' marijuana law was signed in June, with architectural renderings and state approval for grow house expansion taking about six months. Then it takes six months for that build out to actually occur. And then once that build out actually occurs, it takes about three months to grow and harvest and process those plants. For some companies, expansion is already underway. Competitor Cresco Labs is mounting this 224,000 square foot facility in Lincoln, Illinois. Anru says in spite of short supplies, it's not time to judge the industry just yet. It's not what happens on day one or day two or day three. It's what happens at month six. Those who purchase legal weed in other states say they've seen signs of short supplies before. I've been to Colorado before and when they started to recreationally sell, they went out of supplies. So I'm not surprised at all. Now, by law, the industry is required to set aside a 30-day supply for medical marijuana use. So far, that doesn't seem to be threatened. If you'd like to purchase recreational marijuana, the best thing you can do is to check out your dispensary online or give them a call and see what they're able to sell that day. Reporting live from the near west side, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.